Hello and welcome to today's Andy Subway update for Tuesday, June 27th, 2017. This is, the, I don't even know how many takes I've done on this video today since I've gotten home, but it's so hard to talk about what happened today with the A-Train in Harlem. And excuse me if my words come out bad today because I, I don't know what to say about what happened today. I mean, thankfully I wasn't involved. But for my other strap hangers who are on that train today, uh, this is going to go down as one of the worst days in Transit Authority's history, combined with, you know, the New York City Authority and then when the MTA became the MTA. So, here's what happened according to the official statement from MTA Jamman. Joe Loda. Today at 9.48 a.m., a express A train skipped the 135th Street stop in Harlem and left 145th Street by the 125th Street station it was about to pull in. The train slammed into the wall. The emergency brakes were automatically deployed and the train derailed. Almost 40 people were injured on the A train today. People were saying there was smoke in the tunnel. Other people were saying it was like riding a bull. People were saying the train was shaking as it was about to pull into the 125th Street station and all of a sudden it just derailed. Thankfully there were MTA employees immediately, immediately dispatched to the derailed train today because it happened, believe it or not, right by a pack station. Harlem 125th is pack station. There's four subway lines there. Some people were not desperate to avoid the MTA employees and just sneak out like other people have done previous times when they've been stuck in a subway tunnel. According to other officials outside of Joe Loda, FDNY Commissioner Daniel Negro thinks it possibly could have been trash on the tracks. And I've openly told people many times Never throw your tra trash on the tracks because stuff like this happens. Please, I'm going to refresh everybody. This is the first trail train derailment since 2014 with the Woodside incident when the F train derailed back in May of 2014. There are a lot of subway problems today. There are a lot, so I'm going to take my camera with me, the proper thing, and show you what's going on today. I have to edit that part out a little bit because as I was grabbing the camera, the battery died, so thankfully I took my Georgia. So Thankfully, I can properly read this long, long list. And it also has to affect the E and the F as well today, and possibly the M, from what I've read. So, I'm going to read the important stuff first. Let's get the A, B, C, and D problems out of the way, and then I'll give alternatives for the evening commute. So, first things first. There is no A train service between 59th Street, Columbus Circle, and 168th Street, Washington Heights in both directions. There is shuttle A train service between 168th Street and Inwood, 207th Street in both directions. A trains are running local in Brooklyn and between Canal Street and 59th Street in both directions. If you want to wait for a bus, there is a free shuttle bus available. 
operating between 59th Street, Columbus Circle, and 145th Street in both directions. Now, please, please remember something. This is very important. There is no B service between Brighton Beach and 145th Street in both directions. So if you're in Brooklyn, best bet to do right now is take the N, Q, or F train. Or, if possible, get on the R. The C has no service between Uslet Avenue and 168th Street. I don't know how you're going to deal with that, because I know the B goes to Coney Island. So, Coney Island, Brighton Beach. So, that's one alternative I know about. Now, let's talk about alternatives for D train riders. Currently, there's no D service. Make sure I get the camera focused. There's no D service between 59th Street, Columbus Circle, and 161st Street, Yankee Stadium in both directions. However, there is a shuttle D train going between 161st Yankee Stadium and Norwood 205th Street in both directions. So your best bet to do today, if you're trying to get into the Bronx, take the Ford train. It's going to be packed, but that's your only way you're going to be able to avoid the D this afternoon. Now, let's talk about the F, the line I normally take. Some northbound F trains are running on the G line from Bergen Street to Court Square. Then via the E line to Jackson Heights, Roosevelt Avenue. So, think about this. Northbound E service is running from Brooklyn to Court Square. Then if you're expecting to get to Queensbridge, you can't even get to Queensbridge. All I'm going to say is, if you're trying to get to Queensbridge today, the best bet you can do is take the Q60, get off the Queens Boulevard, and then take the 66 to Queensbridge. Because that's the only way you're going to get up there. Now, if you're trying to get to the Q60, best bet to do is take the 4, 5, and 6, Get off at Lexington 59th Street and then figure out how to get to the Q60 because that's the only way you're going to be able to get to Queensbridge today. Some Forest Hills bound M trains are terminating at Exit Street. All I can say is if you're trying to get to Forest Hills today, the best bet is to take the R. So all I'm going to say is Expect delays on the A, B, C, D, E, F, and M trains today. That's all I'm going to tell you. Now, we have two more notes to bring up, and I'm going to end the video. There is shuttle service between 145th Street and Frederick Douglass Boulevard and 59th Street Columbus Circle. So, that's what I said earlier. There is shuttle service... Here are the directions if you want to read them. I'm not going to read them right now. So, yeah. That's the deal today. Because of this derailed A train right here in Harlem. I uh, hope my video will help a few people today getting around for the evening commute. As I said, I'm hoping this video gets posted at 6 o'clock tonight. And I want to apologize if it hasn't gotten up earlier. I've been busy today. I had work in the nursing home. And when this happened, I immediately researched and gave you guys the update. So that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, take care.